All right, team, grab that sweat towel because it's power hour. We're gonna be doing standing cardio core today. It's a 30 minute steady state, getting you into that zone two for fat burn. We've got 15 moves, 30 seconds of each move with an eight second transition. And we're gonna do this for three rounds to really get you stoked. We're gonna then transition to floor work. We're gonna be using different pieces of equipment to really activate deeper in the abs, the glutes, and obviously that midsection. Equipment for this workout is light hand weights in the standing cardio core. I would suggest one up to three pounds. For the floor work, we're gonna be using a mini band gliders and a nine inch Pilates mini ball. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're not miss any workouts. And if you want more, all you gotta do is click that join button below. All right, you guys, if you're lacking energy, I'm gonna tell you what, the beats in this nitric oxide relax the blood vessels, open them up so you get this surge of energy. It also can be beneficial if you have high blood pressure. It is super heart healthy. I take this before I work out or sometimes during the middle of the day so I can get through my day without grabbing that extra cup of coffee and having those jitters, but I also have that clarity in my head. Look in the description box. You can get 20% off right now to energize your body naturally. Go ahead and roll your shoulders back. Take a nice deep breath here. Set that intention. You're gonna have a great workout. We're gonna warm things up. Are you guys ready? Let's start with a little step touch. In this cardio core, really brace that waist. Be mindful in your movements. Soften your knees right here. Plant your feet, hands by your ears, side bend two. Hold here, and then bend to the left. Keep it nice and slow. Get that stretch and warm up that waist. Maybe look to the hand as you reach and you hold. All right, hands by those ears again. Open the feet up, you're gonna do a good morning, and then right knee up, you can punch. Drop that chest, eyes come up. In a good morning, push your hips back. Soften the knees and look to them as you drop down. We got a moving squat. Step out to the right, in and to the left. You can add some arms, reach them forward. Sit back in your heels. Oh, I'm super excited for this workout. We're gonna have a great, sweaty, fun time. Open up those feet, give me a nice twist here. Arms are up. Chin is up. And I wore the red outfit because you know what? It's a fiery workout today. I'm gonna give you that option to add light weights as we go into this workout. We're gonna be anywhere between one to three. They could be wrist weights or light dumbbells. Nice job. You're gonna just march it out. Now, grab your equipment that you need and we're gonna be using them in the movement. So again, choose what you want. We're gonna do a little step touch for two and then two knees. Team, are you ready to go? Yeah. Roll your shoulders back. Step, step, knee. Right now, let's go. Step. Knee, knee. I'm gonna do a little pull in the knee. I'm gonna do a little punch on that step across. 
pull that knee up. Now, as we go through this workout, we got three rounds. We're gonna try to level up when we can. You got a right side kick. Right side kick and a left punch. And you can start now. That music is just a guide, or sorry, the bell. All right, turn your hips to me when you side kick. And then turn the hips to Carol as you punch. You can add a little right arm, push out, then left. All right, you guys, same movement, other side. Kick and punch. And always adding arms is just gonna level it up just that little bit. You can even kick low. We're trying to get it up a little higher. We got some side bending to do. There's four, three, two, step touch. Or skate across. Side bend to the right. Now skate. Have those knees soft. We got ankles, right, left, right, left, knee, side. Right now, pull it up. Knee kick. When you bring the ankle up, really reach down into it. But use your legs a little bit more. That's gonna engage the core. Same thing on the other side. You go left. Knee kick. Try to keep that chin up. Eye gaze a little bit out in front. We got two jacks right here. Right knee, left knee. Jack or tap. You choose so I can be here. You could even hop on your knee. Light on those feet, open up to sumo, and then we swing down, open the chest up. Push your butt back, option, step it in. Right foot, left foot. Option three, hop it in. Again, push the butt back. Try to look to the knees. Ooh, don't get dizzy, right? All right, make your way to Carol. We got two laterals, two lateral, knee up. Hands up, in the air, let's go. 
You could hop to the top right there, right? Alternate knees as the arms stay up. Right knee, left knee. Really pull that knee into the chest. Arms by your ears. Now I'm gonna give you another option. You could run it, but knees come in the front. All right, you guys, we got some side kicks, wide knees for four. Four kicks. Wide knees right now. Four. Give me those kicks. You can punch it out. Lean away. If your shoulders are a little bit tight, you can keep the arms inside and not take them overhead. Doing so good, come on. We got squat, side leg lift. Drop and then right leg, then left leg. Options, swing it down, swing it up. Or sweep the arms. Oh yeah. Hey, are you guys getting hot? Oh yeah, sweat is starting to come now. If you flex your foot, push that heel out. Right lateral lunge, lunge, knee, lunge, lift. Lunge, knee, lift up, let's go. Lunge, twist. You can do a little side bend, then twist. Woo! Bring out that waist. Oh, this is so good for that booty and that oblique. Nice job. Oh yeah, my heart rate's up, how about yours? Same thing, left side. Bend it, twist it, then lift. And drop, twist. Land with softness in your legs because you engage your core. We got jacks, I, T. You could tap them. Weights are gonna come up to about shoulder height. Listen up, you got a break after this. So give me all that you can. And then we're gonna go back and repeat. Repeating is so good. We'll get more out of this, I guarantee. All right, you guys, breather, grab some water. Or maybe you're like me, I got my snap supplements, heartbeats here. Whew, they help to open up your blood vessels, give you that surge of energy. All right, you guys, get ready for that first move. I'm gonna bump up that volume, how about that? Are we ready? Step two, knee, knee. There we go. Maybe a little leap. Turn it up, come on. Come on, knees up. That's what I wanna see. A little extra, uh.
Right side kick, side kick, punch. Maybe you get a little bit lower. I'm gonna face you, then I'm gonna face Carol. Ah. Uh. Woo! All right, same thing, other side. Kick, cross. You can start. Remember that bell just kind of gives you a little guidance. We're going to keep this a steady state cardio workout. Staying in about a zone two, we'll be popping into three. Remember, I turn to you and then side kick and then turn to Diane on that cross punch. Four bends. This skate, palm up. Bend it. Can your elbow touch your thigh? Oh, should be feeling that side obliques here. Ankles, right, left. Right, left, knee, kick. I'm gonna add a little hop right here. Boom, kick. Slam the knee. Other side, ankle, knee, kick. And hop in that knee. I like that little slam, how about you? Uh. Keep it moving. All right, we're gonna jack two, but this time we're gonna shuffle over. Punch it up. Two steps, reach here. Two jacks. Anything with the arms. So if you wanna go more lateral, and then front. Sumo swing, W arms. Pull it back. Look to your knees when you drop. Take your option. You can step it in. Or you can ha hop. Yeah. You use a little momentum here. How you doing though? You feeling good? Oh yeah. Around two. It kicks in. Show me your muscles. All right, take a step over. We got those two laterals with one knee. Up, push. This time, punch it up. Remember, you can just step it over. You can take it to your level. But you're always trying to level it up.
All right, we got alternating knees, arms are up. Or you run with knees in front. You choose. Your arms are a little bit something going on. Bring that weight down to where it needs to be. All right, we pull up and in. Push through the heels of the hands. Side kicks, four times, right, left. Wide knees, pull them out to the side. Kick. Knees up. Side kick. All right, how about we move a little bit forward? In the knees, come forward, watch your stuff. Now kick, come back. Knees up. Take it back. Stay here, knees up, just knees. Super job, squat, side leg lift. Roll the shoulders back, right here. Sweep, lift. Again, flex that foot. Lift out of your hips. Pull into that waist when you go up. My weights touch at the bottom and then they touch at the top. Lateral lunge, and then that knee to the right. And then you lunge, you lift. We could do change here. Could take the arms, diagonal. You can take us for the sky. While you're struggling to keep it together. Can you add a little bend? And then we reach. Twist it. Open up. You can always take these moves and just change them that little bit. Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah. Other side. Bend here. You can twist. We reach. Let's go. Sweat is coming. How about you? Hey, can you twist? Can you bring that opposite elbow to the inside of your knee? Oh, yeah, that's tough. That's how we do casual. Kicking it off, kicking it off, kicking it off. Next level. Kicking it off, kicking it off, kicking it off. Next level. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Pump it up to the next, let's go. We're gonna jack. IT up here. Let's go, let's go. Or tap. Okay. We're at the bottom. For the second block here. For the second round. Pump it up to the next, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Pump it up to the next, let's go. I know you know we know. Pump it up to the next level, let's go. Oh, take a deep breath, come on. Woo! All right, you guys. 30 minute break. You could dance around. What'd you say? Oh, 30 minutes? Yeah, that would be crazy. 30 seconds, maybe a little less. <laughs> Get those weights, ready to go, team? Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Pump it up to the next. This is your move. Pump it up. Let's go, let's go. Pump it up to the next. Right here. Step touch. Knees up. You can leap. Come on. Last round. We got that side kick. Right side. Kick and punch. All right, now deepen that little punch to the side. I want you to drop a little lower. 
Tempo's starting to go up. The tempo in this workout is about 125 to 130 beats per minute. All right. You can do this. Think of all that you can do. You're amazing. All right, you guys, other side, kick it. Punch it, get low. Right there. It's like a little lunge with that punch. Come on, team, what you got today? All the way in the back, Catherine. All the way in the back at home. Let's go. Where are you kicking? Yeah. We're bending. Skating. Bend four. You skate. Take it across. Over the feet. Bend it. How about both arms in that reach across? Watch my hands. Both arms. Use that music to drive up that intensity right now. Ankles are coming up. Right ankle, left ankle. Knee side kick. You can power up on that knee. Power, kick. That little hop is just a little benefit. So good. Finish that kick. Other side. Ankle, knee, side kick. Think of your core. Pull that leg up. Two jacks, move it over. And then two lateral walks, right here, jack here. Up, and then over. I'm gonna do a little lateral raise, and then punch it out front. If you have a room at home, you can go bigger on that lateral. All right, get into that sumo. Swing it. Or hop it. Look to the knees, then eyes are up. Push your butt back. Remember, take your option. It's A-OK -okay to be here. Or maybe you don't drop so low. Nice job. Two lateral. Two lateral. Knee up. Reach it up. Cross. Cover some space now. Get on your neighbor's mat. All right. Keep your chin off your chest. Eyes look out in front. All right, you can march, you can jog. Arms by your ears. You're gonna go now, right? 
Press through the heels of your hands. Bury those arms by your ears. Come on. 10 seconds here. We're gonna side kick for four. Then wide knees, go kicks. Four. Wide knees to the side, let's go. Hold here, kick now. Kick. Now the knees come up. When I walk in the room, everybody like who just walked in the room like who? Get the kick out and up. It's a little bit slower right now. So you should be big. Everybody bow down, they look at me up and they look at me down like wow. They look at me like wow, open mouth wow with the jaws on the ground. Ooh, squat side lift. Sweeping the arms down and up. You ready? Drop now, right leg. Drop. Right. Look up. Heels and toes turned out. Lean away. Pop, pop, pop. They beg for me like a dog. Whoa. They pray to me like a dog. Uh. Let them dive on a night car. Can you drop it? Lift it. You whine cause you got none. I'm not the one. I'm not the one. I'm not the one. I'm always the last one standing. Always the last one standing. Right lateral. Lateral. Twist. Lateral. Reach. Again, you can change your arms if you want to. I'm doing a little bend. Then twist. Bend. Open. Oh my, right? We're really wringing out that waist. Oh yeah. You feel that? We'll lift up in that chest. Lateral now. Knee and lift. All right. Watch your range. Come on. Do that heel that's going to the ground. Oh my goodness, right? You got some jacks, you guys. INT. You just got about 30 minutes of steady state cardio. You did amazing. Finish it. How's my team doing here? How about my team at home? Oh yeah, great job. Twist it. Arms up like field goals here. Just finish this off. You did amazing. Be proud of yourself. I'm gonna get you ready for the next section. We've got a lot of core work. Using three pieces of equipment, we're gonna start with the band. Then gliders, then ball. All right. Get some water. You don't need your weights, but grab your gear. We're gonna be starting off with this band. Mid calf. We got five moves. You should move 40 seconds. 15 second break, we're gonna repeat them. Yeah, you did awesome. Ooh, it's hot in here. Again, place it mid-calf. That's gonna be one of the harder places for it. Now, we're using the red bands, maybe the green bands. Red is harder, green's a little easier. Roll the shoulders back, brace your core. Each move is 40 seconds with a 10 second transition. I know I said 15, we're gonna move a little bit faster.
right, find a little bit of space here to your right. Roll the shoulders back. Lean a little bit forward, two walks over. Two walks back. Now, have a little mindfulness in this. All the way out, halfway in with the other foot. All the way, halfway, all the way in. It's like a song. All, half, all, in. Try to lead with the heel. This does engage a little bit of the obliques. Gluteal medial. Come on your back, looking at the ceiling bridge. You have to be quick, it's quick 10 seconds. Pull the band up, just above the knees. Hips up, hips down. Now open your feet up, push through the whole foot. I'm gonna lift my arms to the ceiling here. Go to a temple that feels like it's good for you. Another option, if you have a booty band, you could use that at home. More at the top, lift. Lift, they're quick. Clam. Turn on your side, feet in line with your shoulders, lifting that top leg up, release it down. Now option two, if you want to, you can lift the feet from the floor, remember it's a back hold, then let it go. want to feel like it is a challenge. So if you're at home and you're banging them out really fast, you don't feel it, get the heavier resistance bands. It makes a difference. All right, we're spinning it around, other side. Feet in line with hips. Try different positions. All right, so maybe you try it with the feet down, and then try it with the feet up. If you're really ambitious, you can lift your hip off the floor. All you gotta do right now is just flip onto your back. Again, we're gonna bridge this time, staying more at the top. A little tuck, up hold, up hold. They're really small. Think about your core too, helping you out. Hold it, just hold the top. Press your heels. Squeeze your butt. All right, hug it and rock up. Move the band down, round two. We go into it right away. Take a little step over. Two steps. Check your posture. Lead with the heel, right? So again, fine tune it and you get more out of it versus rushing through.
All right, we're going to come on that back, right into that bridge, pull the band up. All the way down, all the way up here. Arms can reach. Hitting that clam, turn onto your side. Get that good alignment. Your bottom shoulder. You don't want to dump into it. You want to feel like you're still lifted. Oh, that's right. You guys are working hard. Let's swing it around. I can hear everybody breathing a little heavier now. Another nice thing too, if you have your Pilates ball near you, you could actually place it under the armpit area. That gives you a little support in your shoulder. Ooh, I'm working hard. Are you pushing it back? Come on. We're going to finish with that bridge. Flip it. I'm going to warn you now, the gliders are coming out next. Start at the top. Yeah, get yourself ready. Push. Little ones right here. Tuck under. Tuck under. Arms can be up. Maybe make a happy smile to the back, to the front. Kind of swing the hips just that little bit. If you ever do any bar with us, you see these. If you've never done my bar, oh my God, they're intense. They really hit those accessory muscles. They can help you with a better connection into your body. Oh, my right butt cheek is feeling it. All right, we are taking that band off. And we're gonna transition to your Pilates mini ball. This is a nine inch ball that we're using. Actually, we're transitioning to the glider, sorry. One glider underneath one foot. Pick a foot. We're gonna take it underneath our left leg. We're gonna turn to the side, face Carol. Get ready, guys. We're gonna lunge back. Push into that toe. Lunge back, reach, reach, pull it in. Now, when you lunge back, I want you to look up. You don't need to look at the ceiling, but look to the wall in front of you. Inhale, lower back, exhale, you return. Great way to work the leg and the core to help you move here. Right, switch it to the back leg. <sighs> Glue your front leg to that floor. Toe on the glider. Lunge it back. Bring it forward.
push through that whole foot in the front. We got mountain climbers. All right, I'm just gonna keep my mat where it is. I'm just gonna place both gliders on the floor. Come to my hands if you need to. You could be on your elbows. Alternate knees coming into the chest. Slow or fast, you decide. I'm gonna go a little faster than the rhythm. Push through those heels of your hands. We are gonna fold our mat in half. Put the butt at the end for hamstring curls. Heels will go on the gliders. You're gonna look at the ceiling. Quick like lightning, right? Butt at the end, hips are up. Alternate, pushing and pulling the heels. And also release the hips. It's a little intense. Come on, dig into your heels. Stop trying to make it easy. Make it hard. Activate those hamstrings. Forearm plank, toes on, jack the feet out or in, or you can slide it out. Feet open, close. We'll do 20 seconds of the jacks, and then we're gonna do 20 seconds, tuck knees in. Sounds good. I heard Catherine said, yay. <laughs> All right, tuck them in, push them back. Ugh. All right. When you tuck in, pause. Then push back. Like lightning, you're up. One glider, lunge back, front foot. Let's go round two. All right, this time, athletic arms. We're gonna go a little faster. I'm gonna touch the floor. Pull it in. All right, that athlete of you is coming out right now. Come on, push. You got this. Good God, right? Oh, dude, super. Let's switch legs. Drop back. Exhale to front. Remember, we got mountain climbers coming up. We'll use those both gliders. Here we go. Let's do it. Get in that position. Bring those knees into the chest. You can do it, come on. Turn it up, come on, you got this. Double your pace. Come on, Carol. Come 
Eliza. Where are you on vacation? Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Hamstring curls coming up. Oh. Let's go. Yeah, I heard Cheeky complaining too. Diane, you're fast. Bring him in. Yeah, Diane was already on the ground in like two seconds. Woo. Are you still carrying it over? Come on, that momentum. Dig into your heels. What's up? Four arms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jack the feet. Out in. Now, again, you can play with pace. When you come in, Maybe the hips come up a little bit. Tuck. You can do this. You've got seven seconds. Now you grab your Pilates ball. Ooh, come on your back. Ball in the knees. We'll start with the bridge. You have time. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I'm gonna go this direction. You can go any way you want. All you gotta do is bridge squeeze. All right, hips are up. Hold the bridge, just press in. Arms reach. My heart rate got up to about 142 there. And that was all low impact. Think about the inside of your feet. at the top here, hold it. All right, take your hips down and then hands behind the head, lift the chest up, lift the feet up right here. Lower those heels down and then bring them up. If you need to, you can always drop the head and shoulders. Hands can go by your hips. Inhale lower, exhale up. As you bring the legs up, squeeze the ball. We're gonna jackknife, ball in the hand, turn on your hip facing us. Reach the bottom arm out, leg slightly in front, and then we kick that leg up, reaching for that ankle. Lean into your hip. You can always do double jackknife, both legs up. single leg right now. Remember, dramatic pause at the top, reach, let it go. Swing it around, we're gonna do the other side. Oh. Lean in that back pocket. up. Now 
Remember, take that option if you want to do double leg. Make sure you lean into your back pocket. We got to sit up with the ball in the low back. Ball goes into low back. We open up the chest, then we crunch it up. If you need more support, take it up higher. Lower is gonna make it a little bit harder. Try to get a good range here. To the top. I'm gonna stay right here. Bridge, ball into the knees. Ooh, I'm sweating like crazy here. Hips are up. Press in, in, in. Arms can reach. Not only your inner thighs, but tighten up your pelvic floor, women. This is a great workout. You can bring this with you anywhere on vacation. All this gear is easy to travel with. Hold it in. All right, we're gonna lower the hips. We're gonna lift the head and shoulders. Lift the feet up, hands behind the head. Dropping heels to the floor, squeeze it in. Remember, as it comes in, I'm gonna squeeze those inner thighs and the pelvic floor. Push that back into your mat, especially when you come up. Stay on this side, lean, reach that arm, where your bottom arm's gonna reach forward, top arm reaching up here, a pause, release. I'm gonna keep my bottom leg off the floor this time and just let it hover there. You better be feeling that second time round, right? Here we go, jackknife. Again, you can try to hover that bottom leg off the floor for just a little something extra, right? Get ready here. Into that back. We got that last little bit of sit up here. Woo. Make it hard. I'm gonna go back to, so I open up my chest and crunch it up as high as I can. Back 
back right there. That opens it up, makes it a little bit harder. If you have that rectus dialis, right, this can actually irritate it more. So know your body. You could do a plank. Woo! All right, you guys. How about a quick little hover? We got like 30 seconds. The ball can go under your inner thighs. Let's go. Hold that forearm plank. Just 20 seconds. That's it. That's easy stuff for you. Yeah. Think of what you just did. You just killed it today. Nice job. You are done. Sit back into your knees. Take a deep breath here. Woo! Celebrate that win, you guys. You did amazing. Make sure you're up on your feet. You guys have a well-deserved stretch here. Open those feet up, roll the shoulders back a few times. Take your right arm, reach it up. Grab that wrist, push the hip out, and look up. Let it go. Left arm, reach up. Grab that wrist, push the hip out, look up. We always wanna give back to that body so that it keeps you running as best as it can. All right, release. Wide straddle, interlock behind the back, opening up the chest. Lead with the chest, lower it down. Keep those fingers interlocked. Let the hands go. Widen your straddle a little bit more because those inner thighs need a little bit of a stretch here. Go to the edge of where you can. That can help to loosen up things in your back too when you open up those legs, get a good stretch in your inner thighs. All right, we're gonna bring it in just a little bit, but you're gonna lunge over to that right side, toes up, push that knee out, look up. Over to the other side, shift over. We want mobility, that's gonna keep you moving through life. One more time, each side. If you want more mobility, I'm telling you guys. Other side, try the Pio, the Soul Fusion, those yoga flows. We keep you moving. All right, wide straddle. Turn to Carol in a lunge, keeping the legs long. Drop the hip, keeping the legs behind you a little straight. Let the knees softly touch the floor. Reach the arms up. Reach them back a little bit. Back into your lunge. Lift the knee. Straddle front. Turn to Diane. Drop the hips first. Then let the knee drop. Reach the arms. Take them down. Back into wide straddle. Bring them in slightly, and then you're gonna drop into sumo squat, like a really low squat. I right, wanna push those knees out, dropping your butt down to your heels. Straighten out the legs. Step them in, roll yourself up. Oh, yeah, feel a little bit better now? Big inhale, reach it out, reach it up attitude of gratitude. Pull it into your heart. Touch that heart. Feel it beating, keeping you alive. Big inhale. 
let it go. Oh, yay for you. Woo! Everybody needs to clap on that one. You did awesome. Oh my gosh, I am so proud of you. Make sure if you enjoyed the workout, right, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and the bell. And if you haven't yet, thumb it up. Always leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you to this crew. Thank you, Diane. I have everybody here today. Thank you, Cheeky. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Liza. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Diva in the front, Carol. She's a diva. You're a diva. You guys have an awesome day. Make sure if you want that mobility, check out that Pio. If you're looking for another workout to go with this, try a full body dumbbell workout. Build muscle for longevity. All right, we'll see you back on that mat. Take care.